Welcome, everybody, to Midday Magazine for this Tuesday, September 3rd, 2024. I have your host, James J. Mailoff here, and welcoming into the studio a couple of friends of ours. We have Stephanie Lund, Community Events Coordinator with our Southwood County YMCA. Stephanie, good to have you with us. Thank you for having me. And we have Jacob, who I'm not going to say his last name. Jake, no, I'm joking. <laughs> Jake, uh, Jake uh, 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 what is it, Klakowskids? Close, close. Klakowitz. Klakowitz. It's Klakowitz. Yeah. Darn it. Oh, I, was, I, was, I actually practiced too, man. I'm <laughs> sorry about that. But, <laughs> no worries. Uh, Jacob, thank you. Jacob is the Healthy Living Director over at our Southwood, y, Southwood, Southwood County YMCA. And thank you for being here, Jacob. Appreciate yeah. the time. We want to send a big thank you to Tri-City Services sponsoring this segment. And big thank you to them. Appreciate those that support local, support those that support us, everybody. Uh, gang, before we get into all the cool things going on with the Y, I did have a good story of the day that I wanted to start off our segment with. Um, and this happened late last month. Amazon partnered with the YMCA to help open a free grocery store at a middle school in San Francisco. So all students have something to eat. Uh, it's a nonprofit called Gooder. Uh, and it's just kind of a cool way that uh, we know about this locally. Our, our local Y works with other nonprofits and other organizations from time to time. And it was just kind of a cool thing to see. Uh, I've spent a lot of time in that area of California, and I, was, I thought it was really noteworthy and very cool uh, to see that how hard uh, so many YMCA's, actually every YMCA uh, that you know, is working with their community and working to make their communities better. I just thought it was a cool story. Uh, let's dive right into it being back to school season, and uh, it, it looks like, Stephanie, you guys have something in mind with that. We do. We have a back to school savings for the month of September. We are waiving the joiner fee, which is typically $60 to sign up for a membership. So the joiner fee is waived for those who are new to the Y or have not been members for the last three months. Um, they're welcome to take advantage of this promotion. There's just a six-month commitment required. So anybody can kind of jump in on that and come to the Y and ask any questions. I know people are like, how much is membership and all of that. There are so many different um, numbers to look at if you have different health insurances or all of that. So you can come to the Y. The front desk will be able to answer any questions you have and go from there. But yeah, our back to school savings, the joiner fee is waived for the month of September. I appreciate so much um, <clears throat> how hard you guys work to get every single community member into that building. Uh, and and, and the, the links that you go to for that. Something like this is a wonderful thing, a great way to kick off the school year, great way to get uh, parents, you know, maybe who have maybe a little more free time, maybe possibly, <laughs> um, uh, to be able to get out and to, whether it's working out or swimming or anything else that the Y has. The Y literally has something for everybody over there. Um, but it's also something that's noteworthy, and I, I, I try to bring this up whenever we get together, is the idea that if you are sitting there wondering, can I afford the Y?, just ask. Just come on down and find out because the Y is going to work with you as best they can to try to get every single member in this community uh, a member of the Y. They, they really believe in this. I've seen it from my own eyes. I've seen the work that you guys have done to put into that, and it's greatly appreciated. I, I, I don't think I knew of anything like this when I was a kid growing up. And I think it's just such an awesome program. And it, I know for a fact that it's gotten more and more people involved in our, our local YMCA. Yeah, we have our membership for all programs. So that is for those that may not have the funds to do that. We have an application that you can fill out. Um, you can find that on our website and bring that in. And somebody from the Y will give you a call and um, let you know what you qualify for. So absolutely, anyone has an opportunity. It's a really uh, smart program. And it's a really smart idea, I would say, also just in the fact that we want that building used. We want to get people in there and everything. So it's a win-win for our community and the YMCA. It's very cool. Uh, and um, I, I saw, Stephanie, you guys got something really cool coming up, a mother-daughter event. That, uh, I, I'm a sucker for these. I can't attend them, but I, I'm a sucker for them. They're wonderful events. Yes. Yeah, so we have a mother-daughter pajama party coming up on September 20th from 530 to 730 at the Y. I love doing events like this. I also have I have two daughters that I'm always looking like, what do you guys want to do? And so a pajama party is a lot of fun. So it's for girls of all ages. Um, can bring their mom, their grandma, aunt, older sister to come on out and wear your pajamas. We're going to have a pizza party, mm -hmm. do arts and crafts, face painting, games in the gym, a scavenger hunt throughout the Y. 
um, and finish with a glow-in-the-dark dance party. So who doesn't want to oh. do that? <laughs> that all sounds awesome. That, that all sounds fantastic. Um, is this an event that uh, a parents uh, or, or mom and daughter need to register for? Yes. So registration, there is a registration deadline, which is September 18th. And that's, obviously, we have to order the food mm -hmm. and the, you know, the little prizes, the goodie bags for all of the girls. So uh, you can register online on our website, or you can come into the Y and register there. But yes, each person needs to be registered. Stephanie, uh, with all the things that we know that are available at the Y, uh, coming in your PJs, it sounds like a lot of fun, but uh, should they bring some footwear or Absolutely. anything like that? Absolutely. So they can wear their slippers then if they want to, but since we'll be playing games in the gym, we definitely want everyone to bring an extra pair of shoes so they can run around and not slip. We'll be doing relay races in the gym and have some fun. So It's awesome. Uh, it has going to be such a fun event. We'll be talking that one up on our morning shows and uh, reminding people to attend, register, and attend uh, that fun event. You've got some other events coming up throughout the year. We might not get uh, into too many specifics here because there's a lot of time in between <laughs> now and then. But uh, if you don't mind, I wouldn't mind going over some of those. Yeah, absolutely. And people can mark your calendars right yeah, now. Yeah. So Friday, October 25th, 25th, we are actually going to do our Halloween event out at Camp Alexander. So we're changing it up a little bit. Um, we don't know the time frame yet. It's going to be in the evening, but we plan on doing s'mores and trick-or-treating through the cabins, a haunted trail walk. Um, it's going to be really fun. So October 25th, out at Camp Alexander for the Halloween event. And then Thursday, November 14th, we're looking at doing a thankful Thursday dinner mm. out at camp as well. So mm. time to celebrate Thanksgiving and have a little meal together. And then the last one is in December, December 14th. It's a Saturday is going to be our breakfast with the Grinch over at mm -hmm. the Y. So you can mark your calendars for all of those and more details to come. Uh, those are great events. We're looking forward to every one of them. The Halloween event sounds awesome. That sounds like a I'm really fun idea. <laughs> yeah, I could, you got me excited. We That's normally do it at the Y, but this mm. year we're like, let's just shake things up a little bit and try it outside. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and before we wrap up with you, uh, Stephanie, I did want to remind everybody, you mentioned Camp Alexander. Uh, Camp Alexander, a wonderful place and a wonderful resource. If you'd like to rent Camp Alexander, that is an option. Uh, and keep in mind that uh, there may not be a better place to have a birthday party for your little one than the YMCA. I can't imagine like the amount of fun that you can have at the Y. That is a really cool idea. Uh, the Y is available for those kind of events and others. Uh, find out more by reaching out to them. And we'll give you the information on how to reach Stephanie and uh, more and reach out to the why before we wrap up uh now jacob i gotta put you to work uh because oh, yeah. we got a lot to talk about man <laughs> and, and and you guys are doing some really cool things over there with healthy living and i want to focus on some of the the programs that you have to offer yeah no doubt um just like kind of the idea of like what healthy living is and like what we're all involved with mm -hmm. again like we want health and wellness is a very like broad term um, that's used to represent all the dynamic dimensions of wellness um, and by us offering a wide variety of programs that's going to allow us to make sure that we take care of each of those dimensions because if mm -hmm. one relaxes and the other one starts to kind of go into the bad direction yeah. it starts affecting each and every other one so you're just being uptaken on every direction that you can in your health and wellness it doesn't have to be physical or uh nutritional mm -hmm. it's financial it's intellectual it's social so being involved in these programs will help kind of elevate those dimensions but some of the things that i'm excited about in september that are starting um is if you have any youth out there that are that are being homeschooled and looking for more of an educational piece towards strength training yeah. um we're going to be offering a homeschool strength training program starting september 25th that'll mm -hmm. be at 7 a.m to 7 45 a.m uh, wednesdays and fridays um, that's more, more for the homeschool students. Um, some other fitness programs that I like to highlight is the Smart Start uh, Weight Loss Program, which is a 10-week weight loss program that is aimed towards behavior change and mm -hmm. lifestyle change. Because a lot of times when you hear weight loss, it's like, oh, I got to find a way to lose as much weight as I possibly mm -hmm. can. But in reality, this program is going to teach you how to change lifestyle and daily behaviors in order to set you up for longer success mm -hmm. with weight loss. So within that program, though, you get personal training sessions that focus on exercise and mobility. You get all your nutritional courses and uh, programs that we hold, like mindful eating 
and uh, lunch and learn that's going to included in that package as well as then behavior change meetings with uh, the trainers who are on staff uh, within that weight mm. loss program mm. so that that program I'm extremely excited for it only 10 people are in that program per session and we spots are filling up yeah I'll tell you that much yeah. Um, but yeah, pickleball power performance. That's another one that's yeah, starting this Yeah, this looks month. awesome. Yeah. I was going to say, if you are interested in making sure that you stay healthy or preventing injuries or just upping up your game in pickleball, this is the opportunity to do it. It's four week course st- focused more towards strength training. Not Maybe not the skill so much of pickleball, but making sure that you're able to handle the play and the challenges that may overcome with playing pickleball. Uh, Jacob, I, I want to continue the conversation with you, but just to, to, to pause for a second here, because uh, first, this is all awesome, and it's all really good programs, which reach a lot of different people, which is really nice to see. I, I, I Right away, what stands out to me is the time frame. There's not a huge time commitment with a lot of, with all of these events. Mm-hmm. It, it kind of, I don't mean to say get you in and out, but it really is a, a, a like, it, you, well, I can't do this. It's too big of a time commitment kind of thing. That's not going to be an excuse you can use. Uh, this is gonna, something that is really, uh, you're, you're really working with people and their busy schedules to be able to fit this in. It's really noteworthy, man. Yeah, exactly. And it's, it's not just a quick fix either. This mm-hmm. is for you to learn about if it's specifically towards pickleball or if it's about different ways that I can manage my weight or if it's just like strength training in general. This isn't, this is for you to learn how to do these things maybe on your own, but also progress towards a goal that you want to set. And I don't think I've ever, uh, especially um, with the Y or any other organization I can think of, I don't know if I've ever heard of anything designed for homeschool kids. Like That's such a great idea. It's such a great marketing, uh, not, not just marketing idea, but it's just a really smart idea. We've got a lot of kids that are, are in, in fact, statistically more and more uh, kids that are, are learning from home and that. Mm-hmm. So to be able to reach those kids uh, is a wonderful resource, especially for the parents. No, I, I'm kidding, but it, <laughs> it, 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 in all seriousness, it, it really is a, a great for a parent kid all involved for them to be able to include it in these things uh i, I didn't go i wasn't homeschool but I, I grew up with a couple friends that were and they i remember and this is in the 90s and everything they felt very left out of a lot of school activities a lot of different things that were going on in the neighborhood and some of that this brings them into some of that it, it really does give mm-hmm. them uh, some routine and some regularity yeah. along with training yeah exactly it's just giving them an opportunity to get some physical activity into their uh, school days now on piggybacking off of the homeschool we do we will probably next month maybe come up with the gym and swim for homeschoolers so we've done that in the past where it's either on a tuesday or a thursday and they'll have time in the gym and then also get a swim lesson Hmm. right after that it's like usually a two-hour class so kind of keep your eyes out for that program to come as well well and whether it's this or uh the the pickleball uh power performance some of those things it shows how the uh the ymca is listening to the community is is and focused and paid attention engaged uh doing things that fit our community maybe that might not fit others but fit ours i love that i think that's really noteworthy with the work that you guys and your team are doing over there uh and that four week uh, pickleball power performance just sounds awesome man that sounds really good <laughs> for sure uh now one other thing i did want to mention really quick jacob that i appreciate about your approach to this and the way that you handled this is the idea of your body is one thing your mind is another we want them to get together we want them on the same page and you can't have one without the other almost yep. you know it's it's a really key factor and, and oftentimes you know growing up in an athletic family and stuff one of the things that would slow people down is they just mentally weren't there the body was ready they're they're gun and hoe they're they're up they're ready to go work out but they don't have the mood there or the opposite you know it can go both ways so it's so important to get those two things on the same page it sounds like that's something that's important to you too yeah exactly i mean it's, it's just the way that you influence your body to do great things, right? Because yeah, yeah. again, when you walk back to like the dimensions of wellness, mm-hmm. they, they all play off of each other. So being able to have one accelerate than the other is just going to uplift everything else. You're also doing some nutritional programs over there, Jay. Can you tell us about those? Yeah, totally. So some of the nutritional programs we're holding is are some lunch and learns and mindful eating. Um, lunch and learns are very familiar. We've had these in the past, right, where our registered dietitian, Tiana, uh, will come in. She'll cook up a delicious meal that you get to be involved with the process, but also learn about how to cook those meals with different cooking styles as well. Um, the mindful eating is something that's new that's going to be happening on uh, through September, October, November, and December. Um, but those are going to be more aimed towards nightly classes. So you have mm. a 5 p.m. to a 6.30 p.m. time frame where 
in each beginning of each class, you're gonna have 20 to 30 minutes that talk about specific common areas of nutrition. So for example, our one that's September 19th is gonna be mainly focused on blood sugar nutrition. So Tiana mm -hmm. will talk about um, some different ways to be able to manage your blood sugar, but also have that meal presented to you that you can help out and be involved with cooking. <laughs> Um, so it's, it's a very unique program yeah, that I'm excited yeah. to have involved, but that's one of the, the main reasons of the holistic approach on wellness. You know, with, uh, with and this is again, a, it looks like a four week course, uh, the, uh, mindful eating course. It, the no, so this, this is like per month, right? Oh, but, okay, gotcha, yeah. So gotcha. it's per month. It's not, you're not built into like four weeks with it. Um, but you're able to attend these classes each individual each month. So like October, you have heart health, November, you will be talking about better bone health, as well as then uh, December brain health. So you'd be talking about different topics and areas within nutrition. And with uh, some of these uh, classes or programs, it's uh, always noteworthy. I always, at least I have listeners usually ask, do I have to attend every class? Do I have to be a part of everyone? Mm -hmm. And with something like this, it's kind of built for, um, you know, you don't maybe want to attend everyone. You're certainly welcome to, but you can attend maybe, oh, you know, blood sugar is more of my concern and attending that class. Or, you know, I'm worried more about my bones and, 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 and focusing on those. Yeah. Exactly. It allows again for that that variety, but also you're not committed to a long time yeah. frame like you like you suggested mm -hmm. uh, previously. I, I'd be remiss if I didn't shout out Tiana. She's joined us before on the airwaves. She's worked with our own Melissa K a bit and everything, and she's amazing. She's awesome. Our community uh, just lo loves having her in this area. Uh, Jacob, want to get into some group exercise now? Yeah, so yeah. we did add some group classes as yeah. well. So like I said, a lot of things happening in the health yeah. living department. We're kidding, um, man. We're kidding. Um, but yeah, group classes. One of the, the bigger things that we'll notice here in September is our TRX and Zumba class. It's a monthly add-on. So mm -hmm. for $8 a month add-on to your membership, you get to attend these TRX classes as well as in Zumba. Um, these are more specific programming mm -hmm. um, towards the needs of TRX and Zumba. And that's one of the reasons why I praise these classes is the value that you get out of that, right? It's not, we're coming in for a quick workout. It's more of a more intricate boutique setting where it's we a lot more one-on-one -on -one, um, within there. Maybe not Zumba so much because you're dancing sure, around, sure, but sure. Um, for specifically talking about like that TRX and some new classes like spinning strength as well as then um, hit it hard and functional fitness. Those classes really present that um, more one-on-one -on -one type training within a group setting you've got those traditional ways that a lot of people are used to working out or getting in shape or any of those and, and along with some really fun ideas of different reaching people and maybe different parts of the community that um, want to get exercise and want to get fit but maybe not just punch pump a bunch of iron they want to do it different ways yep exactly because it, it's the approach is on this is more functionality right yeah. we want to be able to do the daily things that we want to do easier right these are some of the ways that we can do that, but more in a community and a social setting. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is another one of those things where uh, if you can think of it, they might, they probably are doing it over at the Y. Uh, they are, uh, there are so many different avenues for whatever age you are out there. I, I see the active older adults uh, as a program. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful too to see. Yeah, active older adults as, as well as then uh, your silver sneakers and pairing up with silver sneakers. We have, we're going to be offering four times a week now. So mm. Monday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, all at 10, 15 to 11. Uh, we'll be having silver sneakers on over there. But also, uh, Margie, one of our instructors, will be also doing a chair flow class after Tuesdays and uh, Thursdays. So it's more of stretching yeah. with assistance. Uh, I've, I've heard a lot about those. Uh, those have gotten a lot of popularity over the last, I, I'd say even uh, during the pandemic especially, but after the pandemic, a lot of people kept up those exercises they were doing at home and, and uh, brought it to the office. Uh, and, and there's never a bad time to stretch. There's never a bad time to be, you <laughs> no know, doubt. And, and some of those things. That's a really good program, too. And as we're wrapping up, Jacob, I wanted to make sure to mention the personal training you guys do over there. Yeah, 100%. Um, our personal training, again, this is something that I speak highly of um, because if you really want to do things right, if you really want the right guidance, put yourself in front of a coach, um, whether that is, again, losing weight or if that's fixing an injury or if it's just getting an overall general health. Um, being in front of a coach or somebody who knows how to take you through the most efficient steps is the most beneficial thing that you could do for yourself. Even if you have kids too, again, mm -hmm. right? Like if you want your kid to be a better athlete or better just in general movement, putting themselves in front of a coach is, again, 
the best thing you can do because we're there hands on making sure they move correctly through a squat, um, be able to stand up and run down and touch their toes correctly because there's different ways you can do that as well. Mm -hmm. um, but being able to do that and have a coach guide you in the direction that you want to, not maybe just in physical sense, but also, again, that behavior change, more of a holistic approach in your training. You know, this is another one of those things I saw through my dad where how much having a personal trainer advanced his, not just his career, but his body and, and kept him in the game longer. He might not have been able to last as long in hockey if without a personal trainer and some of those things. And it's I think that's noteworthy, something uh, that he would always talk about with the accountability buddy, you know, that that helps uh, having somebody that's going to help you stay focused and help you keep on point in some of these. But um, even just beyond the fact of having a spotter or something like that, having some Somebody who not it's not just their job they want you to succeed just as much as you want to succeed so having a, a if I can say a friend a, a, a partner in this can go so much farther than just trying to do it on your own trust me uh, on that one yeah. uh, it, it goes a long ways yeah no doubt and that that helps out with group classes too that's the point of those classes is to again you bring a friend with you to work out you do something that you don't have to think about what you have to do. Yeah. You have someone showing you how to do it. Um, that That's a great opportunity, but also that trainer just keeps you accountable. And that's there's a lot of programs that we're, we're hold, holding to promote that type of community um, that we want to build here yeah. at the Y. It's a great conversation, you two. Thank you so much for everything you guys put into the community and your team does. We appreciate it so much. Uh, Stephanie, if people have follow-up questions, they'd like to know more, how can they reach you? Um, they can reach me. I have, my direct line is 715-818-6012, or they can email me at slund at swcymca.org. Thank you, Stephanie. Appreciate the time. Jacob, how can people reach you? Yeah, so like my direct line is 715-818-6015. Um, you're going to have to spell my crazy last name, <laughs> but it is K L A T. K I E W I C Z at S W C Y M C A dot org. And that is my email. You can reach me there. Right on. Uh, thank you, Jacob. I yeah. appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you can find out more at their website, S W C Y M C A dot org. S W C Y M C A dot org. Be sure to do yourself a favor and follow them on Facebook as well. It's a great way to keep up to date on the things they are doing over there. We send one more time a big shout out to Tri City Services sponsoring the segment. Greatly appreciate them and appreciate you two and the work you guys do. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thank yeah. you. Thank you. We'll have more Midday Magazine coming up for you at 97.5 FM, 1320 AM. WFHR, we are locally grown radio.